Hello there, it's uh, David Taylor and I'm back with another one of my video blogs for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. We've reached a sort of uh, middle end part of June now. I'm filming this on the, uh, on the 23rd of June. As far as I'm concerned, the show season is now over for me for this year. And I'll just run through perhaps some of the plants that, are, that did quite well for me. Now one of the tips that I didn't perhaps get over during that sort of pre-show season spell, you need to try and keep the bees out of your greenhouse. Particularly if you've got single type plants, that's angels, regals, uh, and single flowering zonals, uh, the bees and generally flying insects in particular that like to pollinate will be all over your plants. Uh, and it's often better to try and keep those out prior to a show season, particularly for plants that are earmarked for show, because they will want to get on them, and of course, as soon as they cross-pollinate them, uh, the petals of your blooms will fall off. And I never get bothered too much with any bees coming in through the windows, but I do keep the doors shut. And then I have got quite a large glass house with an awful lot of windows. What a lot of growers do is that they put these sort of flat panels over the doors which allow a bit of breeze to come through but it stops any insects from getting in. Now a regal that I did have quite a bit of success with at the national show just this weekend gone is this plant of Zofia Pope. Um, it's done very well, it actually came on really quite late. I think I've said before that um, a number of my plants have been pretty late this year. It's perhaps surprising. Uh, but when it did start to bloom, all a lot of bloom really got going on it. I did show it at uh, the Bristol show last weekend, but it never had anything like the amount of bloom on it that followed on uh, in the week after. Uh, but this done really well. Got the best regal in the show. But it just shows you how quick they do grow in that sort of May and early part of June season. So perhaps don't always be despondent when you think you've got plants that aren't going to make it because I really didn't think a month ago that this was going to be anywhere near being ready to show. Now with regard to angels, um, this one did quite well. It's a big plant. It's a plant called SK Sugar Candy. The blooms are just held off, but they're just starting to drop now because I know one or two of them have been out, well, I say one or two, a good number of them have been out for a little while. This actually, again, just filled in the gaps uh, between the two shows. The Bristol show, it had a few gaps, uh, and because there were more compact plants there, they, they sort of knocked it into sort of second place. Uh, but uh, for the National, uh, there was a lot more bloom that filled in all the gaps. Uh, and it really did look a very good plant on the day. Right, the plant though that really did it for me at the weekend, uh, winning best at show at the National, uh, was this plant of, um, well it's Gosbrook Robin Louise, I have to knock the Gosbrook off these days, it's named after my daughter actually. It's a variety that I released uh, through Gosbrook Nursery about five or six years ago. Uh, but it, it's come on and it's got a really good rounded body on it. Uh, nice dark leaf, quite a dark leaf variety as well. It's absolutely covered in bloom. I showed this also at Bristol where it got the, uh, the larger Stella first in class. Um, but it had a few, again, it had a few gaps, but they just filled in in the warm week that we had after the Bristol show leading up to the National. Um, there was one plant that got broken off on the, one, sorry, one flower that got broken off on the way home, but there was another one in there. Just see the stem down there. Now just to prove that we don't always have uh, great success, this is a, a really good uh, regal plant called Percy Hunt. Much like I said I think in my last video blog, that this is just really, really late this year. This was stopped at 18 weeks, which for a self-facing glass house is really unusual for it to be blooming so late. And I've still got following bud all coming through, but there's, it's just not caught up with the earlier bloom that's come out. And this is always the danger. Um, but uh, it just goes to show that uh, the timing with this, the stopping um, is a critical one. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it can be disappointing. So just to show that we all have a few disappointments in growing our plants. 